leave the football before the football leaves you. The football's left them at this top level. He needs to call it a day. You have to leave the football before the football leaves you. It's trending on social media everywhere right now because of Cristiano Ronaldo behavior in the game between Portugal and Georgia. We're going to discuss about the round of 16. It's already here. It's set. And we're going to give our opinion and predictions. And we're going to also go back a little bit of what happened on Wednesday. And feel free to get in the comment section down below. And let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Take one second to help the channel. And it will be much appreciated. Let's go. So like I said, round of 16. Euros 2024 is here. And we're going to discuss about it. What is your opinion? But before that, we're going to go back and remind you what happened between Ukraine and Belgium. It was 0-0 at the end. And uh, that was uh, heartbreaking for Ukraine because everybody in the group finished with four points. But it was all about goal difference. Belgium got booed off the pitch. The fans were not happy because they can't score goals. Lukaku again, Bruna, and all the bowlers that they have in the Belgium national team, they can't just score goals. Another game that happened on Wednesday was between Slovakia and Romania. It was 1-1 at the end. Very, very good game of football to watch. They are the teams that many people didn't give really a chance to do that good in this Euros. And this one was a shock from Georgia beating Portugal 2-0. Vascalia, you can call him Vadona if you can't pronounce his name. And Miko Ted, 2-0 and that was a dream for Vascalia because... He actually came from La like Cristiano Ronaldo Academy in Georgia and Cristiano Ronaldo being his idol and playing with him and beating him was something special because guess what? You have to beat the man before you become the man. So Pascalia is now a man and at the end he got the shirt from Ronaldo. Perfect, perfect day for this young man. Let's continue. This one, Turkey against the Republic Czech. 2-1 to Turkey. And Republic Czech really are going back home. And for this group F, you can tell Portugal still top of the table with six points. But losing against Georgia kind of, you know, Put a little bit of doubt into the team. Turkey finished second. Best third is going to be Georgia with four points. Republic Czech are going back home with one point. A minus two goal difference. Moving on. Now you have the round of 16 ready set. It's going to be Spain against Georgia. A hell of a game. Spain are very good and efficient. I think they finished uh, the pools or finished the group stage without losing a game. They are the only team that did that. Oh, they, they won all their games, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we have Germany against Denmark. Portugal against Slovenia. France against Belgium. What a game this is going to be. Romania against the Netherlands, Austria against Turkey, England against Slovakia, Switzerland against Italy. Very, very good games here, say at least. Let me know in the comment section be down below who are going to the quarterfinals. 
you know and let's have let's play a little a little game here uh for engagement for me very quickly i would say spain to beat georgia germany to beat denmark portugal to beat slovenia slovenia france to beat belgium the netherlands to beat romania turkey to beat to beat austria and england regardless of how poor they are they're going to beat slovakia this one is the toughest one uh italy against the switzerland wow switzerland got a lot of surprises every single tournament wow italy man but i am going to back italy on this one and say italy to beat switzerland all right let's go to some you know like randoms from this euros this is what i was talking about in 2013 cristiano ronaldo opened a football academy in georgia and one of the children who registered was Vascalia Vadona. Today, they meet again and Vadona scored in the first minute against Portugal. The very first minute, boom, against his hero. And look at this. Amazing, amazing. Moving on. At the end, you see here. Vadona got Ronaldo's shirt and he got the man of the match. What a perfect day for the young man. Amazing to see. So the future generation is here and I think Ronaldo needs to call the day. You see, all this is trending on social media. The behavior from Ronaldo, getting on people, getting on the Georgia bench, insulting people, kicking bottles, not a good behavior. For a 39 years old man who need to set up an example for the future generation and i know this is gonna bring you a lot of hate from ronaldo people who think that ronaldo can't do any wrong i i appreciate the guy he's one of the goats always support him I always give him the benefit of the doubt but every single tournament we have to see this crap he need to stop he need to understand that he's not gonna be in the same level for eternity he's 39 now and probably his last tournament and i thought that this tournament he's gonna behave differently in the world cup in qatar it was even worse now he was taken off in the second half he wanted to kill people what's going on here only one team in Euro finished the group stage with three wins in three matches and it was uh, Spain. Yeah, so early on I said the only team not to lose, but I was, I was wrong because some teams didn't lose, but they drew. Okay, like England, I think they didn't lose, but they won one game and drew two games. So there are other teams that didn't lose, but the only team that that won all the games is Spain. So that is a correction for what I just said at the beginning of the video. Is that me? All right. Heartbreaking today. Mikhailo Mudrik and Ukraine got knocked out, but they finished last with four points. Everybody got four points in the group. Unfortunately, they finished with minus two goal difference. Slovakia, zero goal difference. Mania and Belgium plus one goal difference. All four points are breaking. But you know what? You did your country proud and you should go with your head up. Chins up, brothers. Chin up. All right. Georgia are through the knockout in their first ever Euros. Hmm. They did it by defeating Portugal. The almighty Portugal with Cristiano Ronaldo. 2-0. Even though the game didn't really mean that much to Portugal. They were going to finish first anyways. So kind of took the, the foot off the, 
of the, the, the gas pedal. But it still hurt that you're going to lose against Georgia. You know what I mean? And this is the teams that somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo can make his statistics. This is the first time ever that Cristiano Ronaldo didn't score in a group stage of a, a major tournament. So that tells you that uh, time is gone, bro. The clock is ticking. It's time to accept the reality because this kind of behavior can't be accepted and you can't do anything to teach good morale to the, the next generation when you cry on the time, all the time on the pitch. You are subs who kick bottles, you get on people, you get on referees for not giving you penalties. That is not good. I, and I don't like people with this kind of attitude. And you see here all the memes. Ronaldo trying <laughs> trying to help Portugal. But <laughs> that is funny. You see High Speed Show storming out when Portugal were leading 2-0. This guy, just by yelling on social media, yelling at people, making a lot of noise, he becomes famous around the world so life is so unfair sometimes you can walk for 10 years in university colleges and do whatever and you still get minimum wage and somebody who is yelling at people making noise and then he's famous and getting millions and millions by every single week england potential road back to the euros Oh, that, that was a long time ago. But it, uh, it is what it is, my people. Leave your comment. Yeah, this is the penalty that I was talking about. Okay? Like, somebody really pulled his shirt and, and he was so, so, so mad not getting the penalty. He got on the referee and he really was so mad. Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, people. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and uh, I will see you next time.